Hello everybody, Jordan here, the PH is silent. I'm excited to dive back into some Forgotten Realms lore. This time I'd like to talk to you and take you through the history of the Cald Wizards of Am. Am being below the Sword Coast, but still on the coast. Your wizard could be part of this somewhat secret group running missions for them throughout Faerun. With their unknown identities, these Cald Wizards could exist throughout your campaign, either as a friend or enemy. Let's dive in. Um, super cool place, rich history. Check out my video in the top right or in the description below for further information. It's a young nation, expanding very far after the Spell Plague. Am um, is a mercantile state and its capital city, Athcatla, is often referred to as the City of Coin, with plenty of people worshiping Joaquin, the goddess of wealth and commerce. The government of Am um is an oligarchy known as the Council of Five. This council is made up of cowled wizards. Originally, it was called the Council of Six and was founded by Thay's Selim chant in 1333 DR in a response to the Great Trade War of Am. He got five leaders of mercantile houses and families to form a new government to increase profits for all the wealthy families. It was during the late 1300s that the Council of Six decided to end their anonymity and eliminate one of the seats. With this, the now open government of the Council of Five could control the nation a bit more tightly. The economy was priority, but to keep the cowled wizards in power, there was a ban on the use of arcane magic, punishable by death. The council regulated magic and licensed only certain practitioners of the high houses to practice it. This prevented a moneyless nobody from gaining power. Originally, the Cald Wizards were a secretive cabal whose self-appointed charge was to protect arcane knowledge and lore. But obsessing over foreign mages who traveled through Am, they transformed into an authority over magic in the whole nation. They tell the public that it's for their own protection, that unsanctioned use of magic protects the, quote, art and the people of Am. Truly, though, it is a tool to keep political and financial rivals down. Most Cald Wizards also work as merchants, librarians, or apothecaries, continuing the original tradition of magical study and preservation. Groups of Cald Wizards are assigned to towns or cities within Am. These groups are known as cells, and they are led by the most powerful spellcaster in that particular region. They occasionally return to Athcatla for secret orders and closed meetings. There are a series of hidden chambers beneath the city where the Cald Wizards meet. Also, to help the Cald Wizards in their travels and control of Am, they keep magical safe holds throughout the country. Over 16 separate caches of magical equipment and or libraries lie hidden in the state. A dangerous member to join the Cald Wizards was Zalanora Argentrasis. This elven woman was a simple apprentice, but during the time of troubles, a lich by the name of Shun the Seventh swapped places with her. Shun the Seventh has a long history, and only a brief part of it coincides with the Cald Wizards, but here you go. Shun the Seventh orchestrated the assassination of Emperor Shun the Sixth, and thus became the new emperor of the Shun Imperium. He was a terrible, murderous ruler who demanded loyalty through magical means or you would face death. He was responsible for the deaths of at least two dozen unicorns, which were sacrificed to make a powerful magical artifact called the Tome of the Unicorn. Some elves in Snakewood tried to defend a small blessing of unicorns from being captured, and thus Shun the Seventh ordered his legions to kill all the elves as well. The rivers turned red with elf blood, and two-thirds of the elves in the forest were captured, and half of those were enslaved. Shun the Seventh performed horrible magical experiments on these poor elves. Now, now the Tome of the Unicorn was magically enchanted and soaked in the blood of 12 unicorns. The outside of the book was metal plates and it was large, about two feet broad with a three foot spine. The book was over four inches thick and the pages were made of polished plates of electrum. Each page was blank, but if you concentrated, the contents would appear. The book bears no title or identifying marks. He also used the horns of the unicorn to craft a magical artifact called the Staff of Shun, which had some cool powers, but it and the book were ultimately evil. 12 years after finishing the Tome of the Unicorn, he faked his own death, and three years after that, became a lich. His body fell into ruin over time, and what was left of him, mostly his skull, became trapped in the last page of the Tome of the Unicorn. Fast forward, and someone named Shand Tharovin managed to summon the Demi-Lich from the Tome. Shun the Seventh demanded souls to consume, so the two attacked Zalanora and her caravan, but it was at this moment the time of troubles began, and magic went crazy. Shun the Seventh and Zalanora's souls were swapped. Zalanora was trapped within the Tome of the Unicorn, and Shun the Seventh, under the disguise of this elven woman, was free to roam around Faerun again. 
Shun VII as Zelenora began to take control of the Cald Wizards, pushing their actions to help his agenda and gaining access to their arcane power. Towards the end of written lore on Shun VII, he was attempting to slay a nearby dragon by enlisting help from Kalimport. It is suggested that Shun VII eventually traveled to Maztica to conquer and control that land. In fourth edition, with the return of Abir and Turil, he would have no longer existed on Turil. Perhaps with 5th edition this ancient lich can return. Or maybe he is controlling the cowled wizards to this day. The Tome of the Unicorn, its powers as an artifact, are found in the 2nd edition book Lands of Intrigue. The Staff of Shun is listed in an accessory Calimport. Both are very powerful and perhaps you can adapt them into your current game. Thanks for watching everyone. Help the channel grow by liking, commenting, and sharing this video with your gaming group. Thanks again patrons, you are amazing, and I will see you all in the next video.